That's right. We're playing a Nick Jr. game. We're playing Nick Jr. Dora the Explorer. Barnyard Buddies for the PS1. Apparently made by Imagine Engine with Santa Cruz Games. Last time we played Dora the Explorer World Adventure and I expected to learn things, but I did not. I didn't learn anything. Except that, you know, Chinese people love it when you give them rice patty hats. Anyway. <laughs> Let's start our new game and see if we can learn about the different animals in the world. Hola, I'm Dora. Oh my god. Boots and I are going to the farm to see all our animal friends. But where is Boots? Do you see him? You Dora? They look terrifying. Come see the farm animals with us? Great. Come on. She didn't even wait for me to answer. Let's go. What if I did want to go see the farm animals? Well, I wouldn't be playing this game, but come on. Dora, don't give me false choices like that. What's wrong with Dora's peripheral vision, by the way? Why couldn't she see Boots was standing right next to her? She should have seen in the, out of the corner of her eye that Boots is there. Or at least, like, sense this presence somehow. Whoa. Yep. She sure is 3D. Look at her. She looks different than in the cutscene, like, of course, but... I think she looks better like this than, in, than she does in the cutscene. I like how her backpack is, like, just painted on. Like the straps. Hey, boots. Whoa. I thought I turned the vibration off. I can feel vibration right now. You silly goose. I don't want... Yes. I don't want your vibration. I don't want to... What? It has to reload the game? What? Okay, I, I've heard it. I've heard it, Dora. I wonder if we'll meet that cow. You know, that looks like where we're going. We gonna milk it? We gonna... We gonna take some of that sweet other juice and make some cheese? Okay, now it's not vibrating. Okay. I'm jumping, I'm jumping. Woo! Out of my way, boots! Out of my way! Every button jumps, basically. Basically, every button jumps. Is there only a jump in this? I got a star. Oh, we see Swiper back there. Someone call the police. Another star. Why did they let this guy just walk free? You know he's just gonna keep stealing. What was that? <laughs> what? Was that a checkpoint or something? Wow! Wow! Wait. Yes. Uh oh. Did you hear that? That sounds like Swiper the Fox. If you see Swiper, press the button. Swiper, no swiping! Oh, man! Thanks for stopping, Swiper. Great job! It kind of looks like Boots has nasolabial, uh, nasolabial folds. Like he's getting old. I mean, I guess that's just life with Dora, you know? It's like being in war. You have to put up with... <laughs> you have to put up with all her adventures. Going 
around the world. Actually, he didn't come around the world with us. That was a swiper. But, you know, we have to travel this stinky old farm. You know farms stink. They have all that poo just lying around. Wow! 20 stars! Wow! 20 stars! I guess. Great. So how many farm animals are missing? Count with me. One, two, three, three four, five, five, six, six seven, eight. Eight animals. Great counting. So we have to find eight farm animals. But how will we know where to look for them, Dora? What do we ask? When we don't know which way to go. The map! The map! Right, I need your help! Will you check map to find out where the farm animals are? You have to say map! Say map! Say map! Map! I'm the map! Dora needs to find the lost farm animals so they can go back to the farm! Well, I know where they are. The duck is in the sunny sunflower patch. To get to the sunny sunflower patch, first, you have to cross the sparkling river. Then you need to go over Blueberry Hill, where that sneaky fox Swiper lives. And that's how you get to the sunny sunflower patch. And try to catch the stars along the way. So you tell Dora. Sparkling River. Blueberry Hill. Sunny Sunflower Patch. <laughs> what? Did he just eat me? Look how it zoomed into his mouth. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, sure. Let's save. Are they really your friends that they need to be like... Locked up. I'm assuming these animals are Sparkling River, as intelligent as the cow. Hill, sunny sunflower patch. So first we have to go to the sparkling river. And don't forget to try to catch stars. <laughs> Let's go to the sparkling river. Come on. I like how Dora <laughs> Didn't even respond to those giggles. She just like looked off to the side like, Who told you you could laugh? Who told you Boots? You know, they call him Boots because he wears the boots, but... Those are more like... Chains. Those are his, uh... <laughs> those are... <laughs> those are symbols of his indentured status. Hey Boots, can you do something about this tree? It looks important. Kind of. I guess not. Okay, we can just walk through this grass. With one stop. What is this river sparkling? Is it like... Sparkling water? Is it carbonated? Is it just the LaCroix River? Muy bien! Muy bien! I'm learning. I'm learning so much Spanish. Muy bien. Muy bien. You guys learning that? Muy bien means... Another star. I got a potty, you know? Whenever Dora says that, she's got a potty. She has like a very small bladder. You know, she's like one of those kids that's like... 
you take them somewhere and they're like and you're like oh you know make sure to go to the bathroom before we go and then you ask them and they're like i don't need to and then suddenly like two minutes later they're just like i have to go potty that's dora Good thinking. except you know she she's out here going like do i need to go potty and it's like dora you need to <laughs> you need to answer that for yourself just like a stream <laughs> just like a stream of piss <laughs> coming down they're like do i need to go potty looks like you already did dora Muy bien. ah look the river's so shiny you can fall into the river i guess Oh, okay. I guess we want to go in the river, but we can't just swim across the river. I guess maybe we need to make a boat or find a boat. Or maybe we can find an animal friend that'll take us across. Like a turtle or something. Just ride on the turtle's back. Ah, I see Swiper. Oh, we can just use the bridge. We made it across the river. Hooray! I do remember that bridge from the uh, the map. Just the way that the gate, like the fence was like open in that little bit made me think that we had to cross through there. Whoa! We're getting purple stars now. I love how Dora can just make the uh, music go away when she talks. We got a star. And she just looks around. You know Dora runs this world. Oh, that middle section had nothing for us. See Swiper back there. He lives back there. Is this really like a checkpoint or something? Cause like, these levels are so short I don't think they need checkpoints. Hmm, doro 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 Back up boots! Dora, Dora, Dora. Muy bien. Wow. How come? What? Good thinking. Do there need to be that many checkpoints? Muy bien. Da 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 da. You're really good at this. Okay, don't be patronizing, Dora. Oh wow, the bush is blocking our way. What do we do? We just walk where there isn't <laughs> where there isn't bush. You know, we just head to the world post 2008. No bush. Although the bush is still lie, <laughs> lie in the background of the political world.
Former presidents never truly retire. Dora, Dora, Dora. The Jumpora. Look at. Look at Swiper back there. He's. Just living his life. He lives here. In Blueberry Hills. I wonder if he grows all these blueberries himself. He's like an industrious farmer. Is Dor trespassing on his property? It's alright. <laughs> all property is Dora's property. Where do we have to go? Blueberry Hill! Yes. Why why did you stop me to remind me of that? Looking. I mean, we are basically in Blueberry Hill. Wow. She's just basically like, oh, where do you know? You have to keep going through the game. You have to keep progressing. That must be the way to go. Why she keeps stopping me like that? Oh wait, you can get more than 20 stars a level? Another star. Then why does she announce 20 stars like it's special? Looking. Yeah, I'm looking. Why does Dora need so much help getting around bushes and such? It's like she has <laughs> worse pathfinding than the Roomba. Tell us we had to go next. The sunny sunflower patch. That's where we'll find the duck. All right. I noticed that they do keep like a strange assortment of animals at this barn. Why do they only have like one goat, one duck, one cow? Usually you get a few of like some of these, at least the smaller animals. Maybe those, maybe those animals aren't like for serious farming. They're just basically like glorified pets. I don't know who owns the barn. Is it? It's not Dora, is it? Well, we have established that Dora owns everything, but like, who tends the farm? Why does this fall on Dora and Boots to get back these animals? Wow. Muy bien. Muy bien. You know, that was the motto for the 2010 um, high school graduating class. It was like, uh, oh, 10, muy bien. Yeah. Along with uh, 2008, like uh, 08, so great, 09, so fine. Wish I could have topped this gate. Dora could honestly just cl climb over these gates. They're not that tall. She's ta she's much taller than the gates. But, you know, of course Dora doesn't want to work with me. Wow! Wow! Who is she, Owen Wilson?
Come on, come on, come on. I wonder if we get something special for getting all the stars. How many people have had like a 100% uh, Nick Jr. door to explore? <laughs> um, Barnyard Buddies run. I could have like the speed run record. There's the sunny sunflower patch. Yes. I I can tell by the sunflowers. Oh, hey duck. Duck. Oh my god, Dora. Him? Where? Behind me? He's not even... Siete. Seven more animals. Perfecto. Great counting. Now let's find the pony. Thanks, Dora. But where is the pony, Dora? Who do we ask for help when we don't know which way to go? The map. The map. Right. The map can tell us where the pony is. I need your help. Will you check map to find out where the pony is? You have to say map. No. In those cutscenes, Dora reminds me of, like, those videos that are like, I painted on all my clothes, and see if anyone notices. Well, I know where the pony is. At the apple tree! To get to the apple tree, first, you have to cross the rocky river. Then you need to go past Crocodile Lake, and that's how you get to the apple tree! And don't forget, try to catch stars along the way. So you tell Dora. Rocky River? Crocodile Lake? You could honestly just go around Crocodile Lake. You don't have to go through it. There he goes eating us again. Is he just trying to get Dora killed? He's just like, tell Dora. Tell Dora go in the Crocodile Lake. Tell her to go off this cliff. Tell her to play in traffic. Rocky River, Crocodile Lake. Wait, is her stomach showing? Where do we have to go first? Rocky River. Right. Dora, pull down your shirt. The low times in this game are suspiciously long. The maps aren't that big, or like, detailed. We got a star! Yay! Yay! Dora, 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 the explorer. You thought Banjo was the only platformer character that had a backpack? No. We got Dora here. His, her backpack is even alive. And then she stuffs other living things in there like the map. What makes her like... What makes her map and stuff like sentient? What makes it alive and not like boots as boots? Why do shoes not live in this world? Muy bien. Muy bien. Wow. Wow. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Dora. I wonder how often she goes to the salon to like maintain her little bob. We found the rocky river, but how are we going to get across? Let's look for a way to get across the rocky river. Come on. Are we going to skip on the rocks or are we just going to find another bridge? <laughs> There's Tinko on his sailboat. Tinko said he would let us use his sailboat to cross the river. He didn't say that. Podemos usar tu barco de vela? Claro que sí, Dora. Gracias, Tinko. De nada. Maybe he did say that just now in Spanish, but I don't know. I don't know any Spanish, so I can't verify that. Dora could tell me he's saying anything, and I'd have to take her word for it. Can I push him? Can I push him around? No, I can't. Thank you. Oh. Am I in charge of the boat? Button. Press the button? Oh. If I mash the button, that makes her go faster, yeah. It's like controlling her breath or whatever. They say to collect the stars, but they never establish what these stars are for. Also, this little dude hanging back there. Oh, another little dude. Wow. I guess we can't capture these animals. Boom, 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 boom. Muy bien. Muy bien. Why does Boots have a... Have like a yellow tip on his tail? Is that like where Dor sh shaved off his like fur? One more star. One more star to get 20. What's 20 in Spanish? S -s -s something. Wow! 20 stars! I got it. We made it to Crocodile Lake! But how are we going to get across? I guess we can't just jump on their heads. <laughs> I was gonna say like, oh, they don't want us to jump on crocodile heads because that would be bad for kids to learn. But it's also bad for kids to learn that you can just like paddle a boat through a crocodile-infested lake. They really want us to, like, save very often. Wow, look at those giant juicy apples. I 
when I was a child, I thought that red delicious apples were like the end all be all of apples. They were just red delicious and then Granny Smith. Where do we go next? Right, the apple tree. And then like, you know, red delicious has Star. delicious in its name. So I was assuming that was like the most delicious apple, but uh, everyone hates on Red Delicious, you know, but it's like, yeah, they suck. And uh, it's such a, it's such a clever bit of marketing that they just name it delicious. Wasn't there an internet personality that went by Fred Delicious? You're really good at this. Like way back in the day? I don't know what they do. I don't know... Muy bien. ...anything about them. I just feel like Fred Delicious is someone. You're really good at this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm real good at this, Dora. You know, these, uh, blades of grass, like this, look kind of like seaweed. Wow. It's like this used to be the ocean floor, but like, we drained it somehow. Let's go. Someone is maintaining this grass. Like, yeah, there are long bits of grass there, but like, most of it is very neatly cut. Wow! 20 stars! <laughs> There's the apple tree! <laughs> <laughs> that horse is fat. Look at it. What they feeding that boy? Oh, her. Behind me? What they feed that girl? Is Pony. We found you. Thank you so much. We did it. We found the pony. Good job. How many more farm animals do we need to find? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Great counting. I wonder what age kids, like, think that characters on TV can actually understand them. I remember never responding to, like, you know, Blue's Clues or Dora to Explore or anything, like, when I was a kid. I just, like, left them in silence. This doesn't seem as dangerous. Oh my god. I hate when- <laughs> I hate when he, you know, puts that mouth up to us. I love corn. Where do we have to go? Windy River, Cornfield, Butterfly Garden. Let's find the Windy River. Come on! We 
got a star. We got a star. Another star. Another star. Wow. You know, sometimes when I try to remember Spanish words, all I can come up with is <laughs> is Japanese. Because <laughs> I think my brain goes like, what's not English? What's the... What's something that's not English? And then it just comes up against Japanese. Like, I just tried to think like, what is star in Spanish? And I was like, Posi? <laughs> no. <laughs> that's not star in Spanish. Muy bien. You're really good at this. I think in French, um, th the word for star is like étoile. That's like kind of what I remember from. Yay! Whoa! Yay! I didn't expect those to be like little springs. But yeah, in a uh, <laughs> fancy star online too. There's like a character class called Etoile, and I think I learned that that was like f French for star. different ways can you get across the river? We did a bridge, we did a boat, what else? Oh, uh, boat again? There's Tico and his boat, but Tico can't find his paddles. We need your help. We need to find the paddles so that we can paddle the boat across the river. Come on, let's go! Okay. I'm not quite sure why Tico lost his paddles. Don't you usually just keep those at the boat? What other use is there of paddles that you would find Tico's paddles? Take them on land. Do it. Press the button to help him explore the haystacks for the paddle. But watch out for Swiper. He'll try to swipe our paddles. If you see Swiper, press the button to say, Swiper, no swiping. Now let's find those paddles. This really is like a one button game. We have to get them all. Press the button and send boots into the piles of hay. It's a star. Yeah, it's a one button game. They just keep calling everything the button. Uh, this, the singular button. Wow! 20 stars! Muy bien! We found the paddles! Now we can use Tico's boat. Where do we go next? Right! The cornfield! When we start crossing the river, press the button so we can paddle fast. Vamonos! Let's go! Is Swiper gonna show up? Uh oh. Did you hear that? It's Swiper! Press the button! Swiper, no swiping! Oh man! Thanks for stopping, Swiper. Great job! I kinda wanna pet Swiper. I think foxes are so cute. Ah, uh, they don't have like a sail for this one. This would be ideal for a sailboat. Paddle faster! Paddle faster! Keep paddling! We made it across the river. Damn, door is so bossy. Paddle faster! I'm trying. I'm trying.
do we go next? Right, the cornfield. Jeez. Really gonna have to do this like six more times. <laughs> and this game is already kind of grating on me. You know, I thought the gameplay would be a little bit more varied than it has been. Thanks, Dora. I went to college. <laughs> I went to college specifically for this. Yeah, there's like paved ground, but there's no one here. Wow. Another star. Are these the remnants of a civilization wiped out by Dora? It's crazy how much, like, Dora keeps eye contact with you. It's at times kind of spooky. Good thinking. Good thinking? What, what are you talking about, Dora? Good thinking. I'm just out here... You know, doing little skips, doing little jumps. Right? Here it is! We made it to the cornfield! Where do we go next? Right! Butterfly Garden! To get to Butterfly Garden, first we need to find the tunnel with the blue butterflies! Come on! Alright. We're almost there! Oh, we can walk through it. Okay, I thought this would be like more of like a maze. Ah, I see that tunnel. I see tunnels. There are multiple tunnels. Look, we found it. We made it past the cornfield. Yay! That's why they specify blue butterflies. At least we didn't walk into uh, he who walks behind the rose. We didn't let Dora become a child of the corn. Where do we go next? Right! Butterfly Garden! Yes. Also known as the right of the screen. We're always going right, Dora. You think you'd learn by now. Dun 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 Dora Dora. Da 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 Dora Dora. Why is Boots even here? He's not doing anything. He just does little cartwheels every now and then. But other <laughs> Otherwise, he's not doing any work. Muy bien. Maybe he's just like an emotional support monkey. Wish I had one of those. Jeez. What? Did Dora just like clip through the... <laughs> the, the bridge? The ramp? I don't know if you can call it a bridge since it doesn't like... It doesn't allow you to cross over anything. You know, it's just more ground. It's 
not like it's going over water or anything. I think it's maybe just the ramp. Dun 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 Where am I? Where's my Spanish, Dora? Why aren't you treat, teaching me more Spanish? Like, they missed an opportunity here by not having her just like... Count in Spanish every time you get a star. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis... Siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Wow! And there's Butterfly Garden! We did it! How do you say like eleven and more? I don't even know. I know like forty or something is like quatorce. Because there's that UT. I think in a U2 song, that's like, Uno, dos, tres, catorce. Muy bien. And people are like, oh, that's not four, that's twenty. <laughs> Is this who we were looking for? like pretty dangerous they're like very mean and stuff Dora's not afraid she'll get her eyes pecked out Another river, huh? Yeah, stick us in that mouth. How did all these animals like scatter in different directions so far? There had to be, you know, like a purposeful like exodus. <laughs> I don't believe that these animals just like wandered off because they're so stupid. I mean, I don't doubt that they're stupid, but I don't think it was like an accident. They left that cow for a reason. Looks like I'm wasting time because I think that there are stars places that aren't stars. You know, this is going to be so bad for my speedrun record. I 
I should have looked up and memorized where the stars were beforehand. I'm losing precious minutes. Another star! Another star! What are these things in the tree? Pears? Are there other stars? Uh, yes. Of course. There are other stars down here. Wow. These stars have like eyebrows. I wonder if they have hair anywhere else on their bodies. I wonder if you flip those stars around, you'd see Bush. They look like they're grooving. We found the boat! But Dora, where are the life jackets? We can't use the boat to go across the Turtle River until we have life jackets. We need to find them. Will you help? Great! Let's go find the life jackets. Come on! Sure. We need to find the life jackets. But be sure to keep a lookout for Swiper. If you see him, just hit the button to say Swiper no swiping together. Come on! That's right. Swiper doesn't deserve a life jacket. Let him drown. I feel like they blink a little bit too much. Uh oh. Did you hear that? It's Swiper! Press the button! Swiper, no Swiper! Dora's like always just looking to the sides. She's like very shifty. Or just do a big U-turn. The haystacks. Why are there... There's so many haystacks just Where's everywhere. Who's stacking this hay? Who's eating the hay? Normally you'd have hay for like your cows or horses or such. But like, if you got like turtles or whatever, they ain't eating hay. They're eating whatever turtles eat. Which is, I guess is like some kind of other grass. Maybe they eat hay too, I don't know. Who can say what turtles do? Another star. No one's ever studied turtles, they're just a mystery. I'm 
just jumping the entire way because that's <laughs> that's the one button they give me that's the one uh power that i have it's my only sense of agency made it to the haystacks where do we go next right the garden gate that's where we can find the sheep to get to garden gate we need to find the tunnel with three flowers come on Wow! Yay! I wonder if Dora's had the same voice actor the entire time, or if she's like, been replaced at some point. I think that, you know, it gets expensive to keep the same voice actor because they'll they'll keep getting higher and higher pay. As they renegotiate contracts and stuff. You're really good at this. I don't know if like Nickelodeon's like Being good to the workers and just giving them higher pay or not. You know, I used to... <laughs> I used to voice Dora. Soy Dora! See? Wow. It was in um, an unaired episode where Dora... Had to find like a little <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My mind's blank. Dora had to find her mind. It just like slipped out of her head. You know, she was doing like a cake stand and then the the brain just f fell straight out. Can you say cerveza? Wow! 20 stars! Alright. What was if that level where we got 21 stars? Is that possible in every level? Three flowers. Okay. Those don't count as flowers, right? Those like not the tunnel we need. We have to keep looking. Okay. Yay! That's it. She doesn't even trust us to like suss out the tunnels. She has to stop and be like, no, not that one. I saw you, I saw you heading for it. Not that one. Like, relax, Dora. Relax. We're smart cookies here. The music is getting a little spicy, you know? You hear, you hear that marimba? We got a star! We got the stars! I wish Dora had like a run button. But maybe she wants to conserve her energy. That's why she's just hopping everywhere instead. <laughs> Muy bien. Wait, was there anything in that upper path? We already went that upper path. Okay, never mind.
Is Dora's hair naturally brown? Another star. Good thinking. Are those highlights like natural? Yay! Just kind of seems like star. she's getting her hair done. I mean, we already know she has that bob, which is a high maintenance kind of hairstyle. You need to keep trimming your bob to like keep it very like, you know, bobby. Here's the yellow gate. We found the garden gate. The sheep must be on the other side. But the gate is locked. We need to find the key. Will you help? We need to check all the piles of hay to find the garden gate key. We need to find the key to the garden gate. Boots can do it. Press the button to help him explore the bushes for the key. And don't forget to watch out for Swiper. He'll try to swipe the key. Isn't Dora supposed to be teaching us Spanish? Like, all she's taught us how to do is count in Spanish. Up to like seven. Muy bien. When's she gonna teach us more Spanish? Yep, that's right. 20 big ones. We found the key. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? It's Swiper. Press the button. Swiper, no swiping. Oh, man. Thanks for stopping Swiper. Great job. Great job. We opened the garden gate! Yeah. Now we can let out other animals. And then find the animals that belong to this garden later. You see the sheep? You see her? Where? Behind me? There she is! Hola, oveja! Hi, sheep! We found you! Hola, Dora! Gracias! Did she give up on the Spanish? Great counting! Now let's find the cerdo! The pig! Piggy, piggy, piggy! You know, the word for a female sheep is a U. E-W-E. We don't know which way to go! Map! It's a very common crossword answer. Your help! Will you check the map to find where- See, I'm teaching you more than Dora. Have to say map! Say map! Say map! Map! Map in Japanese is chizu. Dora needs to find the lost pig. Well, I know where the pig is. At the strawberry. If Dora won't teach you, I will. To get there, first you have to cross the twisty river. Then you need to go past the froggy pond. And that's how you get to the strawberry patch. And we always start by going across the river. Twisty River, Froggy Pond, Strawberry Patch. Whoa. Where do we go first? Twisty River, Froggy Pond, Strawberry Patch. Twisty River! Come on! It's like a Swiss cheese bridge. There's all those holes in it. I assume anything like the Swiss make is just full of holes. <laughs> And thus, uh, I believe this bridge is Swiss. We got a star! Wow! Ha 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 ha! Yay! Another star! 
another star. Wow. She still has not taught me star in Spanish. Is it like Nova? No, it can't be Nova. Because Nova is like a uh, star explosion. So you, I don't assume that they would uh, just call that phenomenon uh, the Spanish word for star. It has to be something else. You know, in, um, it should be Estrella? Ah! Thanks, Seven. How you doing? It is... Estrella is a little bit similar to the French, uh, word for star, which is, uh, étoile. I think. You're good? I'm good, too. I'm I'm muy bien actually. We did it! We found the twisty river. We need to find a way across this river. Let's look for a way to get across the twisty river. Come on! I can see those pieces of the bridge wow. that we need to collect. Yeah. pieces of wood missing from the bridge. We need to collect the seven pieces of wood so that we can fix the bridge and cross the Twisty River. Come on! Ah, uh, they even highlighted like the little holes. It makes it... We need to collect seven pieces of wood. Run around and collect all the pieces of wood so we can fix the bridge. But watch out for Swiper! That sneaky fox will try to swipe the wood for the bridge. If you see him, press the button to say, Swipe for no swiping. Press the button. Okay, let's get that wood for the bridge. The red highlight makes it look like a purposeful, like, little design. Wow! Maybe Dora's messing up yeah. this, like, bridge design. Who knows? Why would Swiper just want like random pieces of wood? These aren't good for building anything. They're just like jagged little cutouts. We got all the pieces of wood. Now we can cross the bridge. But yes, <laughs> sometimes. The characters in this game do look a little bit creepy, especially in the cutscenes. Wait, did I collect all the stars? I have no idea. I may have lost my 100% run. Or maybe I kept it, I don't know. They don't tell me. They don't tell me. You know, I just had to be paying attention, and I wasn't. <laughs> you saw the map just jump at the screen, yeah. Where do we have to go? Froggy Pond. It's such a weird decision that they made for the map to like have his mouth we just come at you. I feel like th I feel like the Spanish word for map is mapa, but that could be totally wrong. <sighs> I don't feel like this game is very optimized. You know, the loading screens are a little bit too long for what this is. 
What? Ah. <laughs> uh, thanks, Seventh. Have you played Poppy Playtime? I was impressed by, like, uh, the quality of Poppy Playtime, you know, graphically and stylistically for an indie game. Um, but, like, the jump stairs didn't actually get me. It's not like, um, Garten Bamba and, like, the, the jump scares actually got me sometimes. But in Poppy Playtime, it was just like, uh... Yeah, Huggy Wuggy. He got me, but he didn't, you know, get me in the fear centers or whatever. Did I play part two? I haven't. I haven't yet. I've only played part one. Part 2 is a little more intense. <laughs> you need to f I already forgot what Dora said. You did it! I knew we could do it. You're really good at this. Okay. I did it. <laughs> I did it. I know, like, I looked at your YouTube. <laughs> And, uh, I looked at your YouTube, like, earlier. And I see you play, like, a bunch of, like, those horror games. What do you think is, like, a... What do you think is a good game to play that's, like, um, similar to Poppy Playtime or whatever? Where do we have to go? Right! I saw you play like some SpongeBob thing called like Patrick. Wow! Another star. You haven't uploaded yet. Oh, Joyville! I've heard of Joyville. I think each mascot horror game... I don't know. I feel like each mascot horror game is kind of controversial a little bit. Like, each one, like, has a lot of criticism towards it by, like, fans of the other mascot horror games. <laughs> I think I heard Joyville instead of like a toy factory like Poppy Playtime, it's like a it's a toy store. If you're looking for a lot of indie games like Poppy, go on to Itio. That's where you get most of your horror games from. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm aware of Itio. But I haven't actually like browsed through there. I usually get my PC games from, like, Steam. But... I guess Itio does have, like, more indies. Why is there... Why is there giggling? When I walk over some of these strawberries. Oh no, no, that's the pig snorting. I think... I think strawberry in Spanish is fresa?
Thanks for finding me. I missed the farm. This pig sounds la bala mice. Yeah, I've seen, um, someone mentioned my friendly neighborhood, and I went to the Steam Pig. Not, not Steam Pig, Steam Page. <laughs> and just the images I saw looked really cool. It, it has, like, um, that kind of Muppet look, right? I like how the aesthetic kind of looks. I'm the map. Dora needs to find the lost cat and bring her back to the farm. I know where the cat is. At the little blue tree. To get there, first you have to cross the icy river. Then you need to go around the thorny forest. And that's how you get to the little blue tree. It's not often you see try to catch stars along the way. So you ice combined with cactus uh, cacti. Thorny forest. They're usually like in very different climates. Icy river, thorny forest, little blue Gosh, tree. Dora. Where do we go first? Pull down your shirt. You know, I bet Dora's like obnoxious in school. Like, she's probably always talking to class. And the teacher's like, Oh, do you want to teach the class? And then she's like, Yes! And then she's like, Can you? Can you see the blackboard? Crazy weather they have on <laughs> this area around the farm. Another star. Has Dora ever met Santa Claus? I feel like Santa would appear at some point in the Dora cartoons. What's up? What is this? Hey, hey Swiper. You know Santa we did it. is Spanish for saint. We made it to the icy river. Now we need to find a way across this river. Look, Dora. It's frozen. It's all ice. And slippery. Be careful, Boots. Maybe we need to find some ice skates so we can skate across the river. Let's find some ice skates. Yeah, he's just like, this purple backpack is on the floor there. And she's like, what backpack? Do you see a backpack? Another star. We need to find the ice skates. Boots can do it. Press the button to help him explore the snowy bushes to find the ice skates. All right. Now we can cross the icy river. Where do we go next? Right, the thorny forest. Let's go. Muy bien. It's crazy how they just found some ice skates in, <laughs> in this bush that are Dora's exact size. Oh man. 
Oh, man. What's with these? Oh. Whoa. These ice blocks just went into the ground. <laughs> that was very RPG-like. I never played Amanda the Adventurer. No, I've, I don't even think I've heard of it. What's Amanda the Adventurer? Is that like Dora the Explorer? Oh, she can like twirl. Look at her. Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna play it. Is it like a horror-y game? Muy bien. Muy bien. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this game would be over by now. Wow. 20 stars. It's horror broken, yeah. Dora the Explorer. Ah, I see. Oh wow, we got 21. Blackjack. Yay! We made it across the river. Mm. I just spilled a, some Dr. Pepper on myself. <laughs> I don't know how to drink drinks, guys. <laughs> yeah, I drink Dr. Pepper so often. You know the stores always run out of Dr. Pepper? Sometimes I go to the store and there's like no Dr. Pepper or there's only like one case. Right. The thorny forest. Let's go. There's like a few of us in Las Vegas that I think are draining the supply of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I still don't know what those things are. I guess those- like, I thought they were checkpoints. They might still be checkpoints, but these look like people. These cacti. Um... But it doesn't really make sense for them to be checkpoints, because it's like, why? They're put in random places. I'll go back for that star. I think shoes are zapatos. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to teach myself because Dora won't. Dora's not helping me. I'm trying to recall all the Spanish I took in school. This game is very relaxing. <laughs> yeah, it is sort of, you know. There aren't real stakes here. It's hard to fail. You know, a lot of people... A lot more people than I thought... ...viewed my last <laughs> Dora stream. We need to find a thorny bush with eight pink flowers. Will you help? Come on! Okay, eight pink flowers. Keep looking! Yeah, Dora. I will. Give me a sec, okay? Keep looking! Yeah. It's not this cactus. That's four purple flowers. Wait, are these pink? Are these supposed to be pink? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
You do watch my VODs? Really? <laughs> but yeah, I appreciate like, I don't know, anything. Like dropping by, watching VODs, anything. <laughs> I lurk in a lot of your streams, but like, I don't really say anything. <laughs> Where do we have to go? Right! The little blue tree! All right. <laughs> we got a star. Muy bien. Yeah, you know. Yay. I'm usually like in like one or two streams and then like when I see something where I can say something, <laughs> I'll like chime in, but yeah. But otherwise, I, I don't have anything to say, you know? Another star. Another star. You know, one thing I'm hoping to find one day wow. is someone else who has played these Dora games. <laughs> <laughs> so I can discuss my my Dora video game ranking. Another star. Are any of them good? Who knows? I've played this is my second Dora game. Another star. But I'm hoping to one day find a Dora game that is either good or educational. I did start playing, you know, Dora just because, like, I did feel like getting into educational games every now and then. Just, like, to see if I could learn a thing, you know? Keep my brain going. They say if you... They say if you keep learning, you reduce your likelihood of getting Alzheimer's. I didn't get 20 stars though. Muchas gracias. We did it. We found the cat. Great job. How many more farm animals do we need to find? Let's count them. One, two. You're a good counter. All right. Let's find the goat. Sure. Let's find the goat. I'll bet he's. Maybe he's. Sure. Where are we going to find the goat? Hmm... Let's stop and think! Who do we ask when we don't know which way to go? Map! Map! Map will know where to go! I need your help! Will you check the map to find where the goat is? You have to say map! Say map! I wonder if the map, map. hates, like, smartphones and stuff. Because now everyone can just look up on their low phones, go. where to go. He can go back to the farm. You don't need this physical map anymore. At the Green Mountain. To get there, first you have to cross the Troll Bridge. Then you need to go through the spooky forest, and that's how you get to the Green Mountain. Oh, he's trying to kill Dora for real. Try to catch stars along the way. So you tell Dora, Troll Bridge. Spooky forest, green mountain. He's trying to send her to the depths of hell. Let's 
Troll Bridge, Spooky Forest, Green Mountain. Where do we go first? Troll Bridge. Right. She never jumbles up the order. So it's never like hard to remember what order we have to go to places. I mean, not that it would be like that hard if she jumbled them up because it's only like three places, but come on. At least give us a little bit of a challenge, Dora. I'm not even gonna worry about getting 20 stars anymore because I I for sure missed one one level Another one star. star and so my 100% run is like completely shot I don't know if there's a level select. On the ground. How many can you find all around? We have to solve the troll's riddle to cross the bridge. Will you help us solve the riddle? Good. Okay. The riddle is blue rocks are hidden on the ground. How many can you find all around? We have to find all the blue stones and count them to answer this riddle. Come on. Let's find all the blue stones. That's not a riddle. Whoa, I didn't know Boots could like just hop up a tree like that. Jeez. Oh, I have to go into the, the little bamboo gated area, the little mazy kind of area. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Eight! We did it! We found all the blue stones. Now let's count them. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blue stones. Oh! You solved my riddle. All right, you can pass. Adios, Senor Troll. That's, uh, that is not a riddle, Dora. That's just counting. Apparently wolves and bats and such <laughs> respect paths and they will not cross them. We need to follow the path with nine stepping stones to get through the spooky forest. Come on! Okay, nine stepping stones.
man. What are these eyes? Are they ghosts? Another star. Are they the wolves? <laughs> yeah, they say be careful, but it's not like there's gonna be anything but stars. It's an owl. Path with nine stepping stones. One? Nope. That path isn't the path with nine stepping stones. Count the stepping stones and find the path with nine stepping stones. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I could see that it was a dead end, Dora. Wow! I didn't need to rely on the stones. with nine stepping stones. Count the stepping stones and find the path with nine stepping stones. Okay. You're really good at this. And people couldn't just move the stepping stones? Like, it's very possible that there were nine stepping stones at one point. Okay. Then, like, people just moved them. <laughs> Dora, Dora, Dora. Muy bien. Muy bien, Dora. No. It's a dead end. Another, Another dead end. Ah, I see down there there's some stepping stones. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think One, Dora maybe moves faster if I jump. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine stepping stones. There we go. That's it! We made it through the spooky forest! Hooray! We took all sorts of paths. Like, I mean, we went to all sorts of dead ends. And there were no monsters there. No wolves. Nothing. Nothing came and attacked us. Where do we have to go? The Green Mountain! Let's go! We got a star! Woo! Another star! Wow! Dora's gonna wear out her pants. What? By like, just sliding all over this ground. <laughs> I mean, it's- it's okay. Yay! You kind of expect children's clothes to like, not last a long time. That's why you get them the cheap stuff. You don't- you don't get like, Dora to explore some Gucci. He was ready to attack me. The lost farm animal is the chicken. Yeah, he did look a little rambunctious. Goats are pretty dangerous, especially if they have horns like that. Like, Dora could get impaled just by it running up against her. Chicken 
and then all the animals will be back home on the farm. Well, I know where the chicken is, at the tallest mountain. To get there, first you have to cross the waterfall. Then you need to go through the muddy mudslide. And that's how you get to the tallest mountain. And don't forget to try to catch stars along the way. So you tell Dora, waterfall, muddy mudslide, tallest mountain. The tallest mountain? Like Mount Everest? What are we comparing this mountain to? Where do we go first? Waterfall, muddy mudslide, tallest mountain. Right, the waterfall. Come on. All right. Dora! We got a star! Wow! Wow! Muy bien! Doesn't Dora have more friends in this? She has like, wow. she has Boots. There was Tico. Another star! Doesn't she have like a bird friend? I, th I feel like. Star. And she has her cousin Diego. But I don't know. I don't know. Diego really counts as her friend. We She's did it. We he's probably obligated to hang out with her. We need to find a way to get past it. Vamos. Yay! Muy bien. Y Tico. Hey, there's Tico, and it looks like he has a rat. That's the way we can cross the waterfall. We're always just we taking Tico's things. Keep us from going over. Do you know what we can use to keep from going over the waterfall? The rope. That's it. The rope. I think there is a rope in the haystacks. Let's go find the rope. Let's go find the rope. Let's go find the rope. Find a rope to get Tico's raft. Boots can't do it. Hit the button to help him explore the haystacks for the rope. But watch out for Swiper. He'll try to swipe the rope. If you see Swiper, hit the button to say Swiper no swiping. Now let's find that rope. Let's go. Dora, what happened to teach in Spanish? Wow! 20 stars! Muy bien! We found the rope! Now Dora, we use it to pull the raft from what's the rope? Shore. You got it! What's rope in Spanish, Dora? Uh oh, did you hear that? It's Swiper! Press the button! Swiper, no swiping! Oh man! Oh man! I know Swiper supposedly wears that little bandana slash mask uh, because he's a thief, but I really wonder what's under there. Does he have like a big old bald spot? Oh no! The waterfall! We don't want to go over the waterfall. What can we use to keep us from going over? Do you know what we can use to keep from going over the waterfall? The rope? That's it! The rope! But you have to pull with us. Hit the button to help us pull the raft across the river. Come on. Let's pull together. Pull. 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 Pull the rope. Press the button and pull oh. the rope faster. That's not how I thought you'd use the rope. Wow. I thought she was trying to lasso a rock or something.
I, you know, I don't, I, I don't trust people that wear bandanas or like beanies or whatever all the time. It just makes me think they're hiding something. It makes me think they're hiding like some kind of hair situation. Maybe Swiper doesn't even want to steal. Maybe that's just like a pretense to keep wearing his little bandana. Because like he doesn't try very hard to steal. Where do we go next? The muddy mudslide. Right. Vamanos. Vamanos. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Dora. We got a start. Wow. See, Nick Jr. is like a for-profit network? Subsidiary? I don't know. It, well, it is kind of like a subsidiary of uh, Nickelodeon in general, which is itself like a subsidiary of Viacom. Um, but... Yay! I, want, I wonder if it's like, because Nick Jr. is for-profit, and not like PBS, wow. where PBS mostly relies on like donations. I wonder if that's the reason why Nick Jr.'s low games are not that educational. Maybe like a PBS game would be more educational. Another star. Oh, okay. There's no real consequence for missing these logs. Yeah. I thought maybe Dora would sink into the mud. Wow. That this was gonna be like actual platforming. <laughs> we made it to the muddy mud slide. Where do we go next? Right, the tallest mountain. That's where we'll find the chicken. Come on. I wonder if Dora, when she's like in high school or something, if they would allow her to go to prom with boots. With her monkey. Like he can talk. He can wear shoes. <laughs> it's basically human. I mean, sure, he wouldn't be going to the high school with her, but... You don't necessarily have to have registered students at the prom. I bet Boots would be a great dancer. He's very nimble. You can see him doing his cartwheels. The tallest mountain. We found it. The tallest mountain. We found it. I knew we could do it. We found the tallest mountain. Oh, this is just a little chick. Male chickens are kind of useless unless you want them for breeding. You want female chickens.
Wait. Don't tell me. They just kick us out to like... They just kick us out? To the beginning screen? There's no like... Ending? There's no credits? What? What? We don't even see that cow again. We're not like, Hey cow, we brought you all your friends. No? There's nothing like that? Wow. Wow. They really did not care. They, they, they didn't give a single... They didn't give a single boot about this game. <laughs> well, I guess that's... Bendora, the Explorer, Barnyard Buddies. <laughs>